All right, so uh, right now let's draw the next uh, and our final part, which is the bolt. So the bolt, we are going to model this as a solid uh, element. Okay, so this is an M16 bolt uh, with some dimensions. Uh, the bolt, we are going to draw it with, an, with a head and a nut. So we are going to assume this. these are all part of the bolt, so we are not going to draw the the nut as a separate part although we can do that but just for simplicity we are going to draw this as all as a one part the bolt the head of the bolt and the nut of the bolt so these are the dimensions it has a diameter of 16 it has a shank length of 25 because this will be the thickness of the connected plates which is the end plate 10 plus the column flange 15 so this is where the 25 come from. Okay, so let's draw that. So I'm going to create a new part. I'm going to call it bolt. And this is a 3D deformable part, solid. I'm going to draw it with the extrusion option. Uh, approximate size. Let's put the maximum diameter here because we are drawing like cross section. So the maximum diameter here is like 24. So we can find that's all right. We can put 24 here and then we click continue so right now we need to draw our bolt so what i'm going to draw first so the bolt has like different parts with different diameters so what i'm going to draw first is the shank so the shank is a circular section so from zero to zero i'm going to draw a circle and the diameter will be the diameter of the bolt i can just click anywhere and then i can modify it's much easier to put the dimension and then modify it so this is a 16 millimeter bolt 16 in diameter so this means in radius it's 8 and then i click enter so that's it i'm not going to draw anything else so i will just going to extrude the shank length for now so i finish this and i click i'm done and then i'm going to do the depth the depth of the shank is 25 millimeter okay so now i have the shank of the bolt so now I need to create the head and I want to create the nut. So how are we going to do that? So we are going to do this from this uh, icon over here. So this is said, this one says create solid extrude. So I'm going to create an ex solid extrusion. And in order to do that, I need to select the plane where I'm going to do this extrusion. So I want to do actually two. I want to do one here, extrusion from this edge for the nut part and I want to do extrusion from the other edge for the head. So let's start by the one for the nut. So I can click on that and then I need to select an edge that will be vertical and to the right. This is just when we are drawing the sketch. So I can click on this edge. That's fine. And then again, I'm going to create another circle. So this is the one for the nut. So this one has uh, 0, 0 and a 24 diameter. 24 diameter means a radius of 12. So I can actually, I don't know if I can snap here. Maybe I can't. So let me just draw it like this and then uh, let's do similar and modify this. So the radius will be 12 and that's it. And then I finish this and I click done. And then I will just need to extrude. So I need to provide the direction. So as you see the arrow here, it says that this extrusion, whatever is the depth that you are providing. So here I'm going to, this nut will have uh, 10 millimeter in, uh, in depth or thickness. And this is the correct direction. That's fine. And uh, I'm not doing any twisting or anything. So and then I click OK. So here you go. So right now we have uh, the nut. So let's do the same uh, head. So I click on that and then I want to select the other face. You can rotate if you want uh, here. So I rotate my part and then I click the other face. Let's draw from this uh, side. So this will be similar again to the nut. I'll just assume for simplicity. So we can uh, provide the other point actually here just to change things. So X equal to 0 and y is equal to 12 that's it so we can't see it because of course of course it's uh, overlapping the the existing part and then i finish this i say done and then okay yes in this direction the depth is 10 millimeter 
okay and then and then you have your part let's look in the 3d view so this is my part uh, for the bolt all right so we are done with this so in the next uh, uh, parts that we are going to do we are going to discuss before we go to it's supposed to be the next module is the property module but before we go to that we are going to discuss next uh, how to do partitioning of our uh, parts which is a very very important thing that you should uh, consider when you are doing when you are modeling parts so we'll see you in next video